All right, Keith, just a couple of things I wanted to show you. To ship this thing to you, I gotta take it apart. So I'm gonna take this bracket off of this telescopic pole, and uh, you'll just have to throw that back together when you get it. One more thing I wanted to point out is this pump. Sometimes when you turn the pump on, it won't do anything. You'll have to turn it back off and turn it back on. It has something to do with this type of transformer. Sometimes if you put the switch when the AC current you're hooking it up to is at a certain phase angle in the AC power, the transformer won't kick on. So just turn it off and turn it right back on and the pump will turn back on. When the pump is set on circle, the pump's off. The line means that it's on. I don't know why. You would think circle would mean complete circuit and that that's on, but no or that the uh, circle would stand for o for on but apparently that's not the case so i just wanted to run that by you i am going to take this apart for shipping and i just wanted to show you what it looks like so when you go to put it back together connects just with the basic fare uh, basic flare fitting connector that's on the end of the gun here I have the telescopic pole paint or tape to the gun itself so that nothing gets bent in shipping. I'm gonna fill this thing up with some empty boxes to keep it from getting smashed. But you're essentially all set, brother. Everything's here. And I will have you a tracking number ASAP. All right, Keith, so basically one more thing that I gotta remind you about is hard water hard water deposits inside the boiler are going to build up over time and you will want to flush this thing out with some CLR on occasion. Vinegar will work also. Just um, set the um, intake of the pump into a bowl so we can pump up some vinegar or CLR and put the discharge pumping right back into the bowl so it just circulates until the foaming stops and that should clean it out.